We just uh, published this uh, fantastic book, which is called uh, The Grove Vocabulary for a New Era. It's an edited book, and it's a funny format. It's a dictionary, so it's very light. There are uh, 50 different chapters written by top uh, researchers and experts in the different areas. And uh, it's a little bit this idea to present the growth as a vocabulary. In the sense, it's a debate we are having, which is both on a critique of growth and on the proposal of a dire desired direction, no? mm. a different one. And, uh, and the idea of the vocabulary is to present the concept, the key concepts of this uh, debate in a very short way, in a very handy, handy way. The growth is not new. It, it, um, it's part of an evolution of concepts and ideas and movement. It's not only in academia, but it's in the social movement, in the political parties, in the trade union. So it's part of the reflection of how can we live in a better society, which is more just and more uh, sustainable. So what is the growth? Well, on the first hand, is a critique of the hegemony of growth. So it's saying we have to stop this kind of <coughs> colonization of the public debate by the idiom of economies. We only talk about inflation, quantitative easing, spread, and so on. We don't talk about how people are feeling, how our nature or our relation with nature, uh, what is happening to it, and so on. On the other hand, the growth is a proposal for something different, for a different society. And there, of course, there are two aspects. One is less, in the sense we need to reduce our impact in nature, that is sure. But less is not the important thing, because you could say with the recession, you already have less. So why uh, why is not that the growth? Because what we want, and what is different with the growth, is that we want to do different activities. We want to have different gender relations. We want to have a different relation with nature. So that is the focus, that we want to break this domination of economic growth, and we want Want to do something different. There is a kind of obsession with economic growth, no? So everybody, all the parties agree mm -hmm. that we need economic growth. I tend to be suspicious when everybody agrees on something. I think there might be something wrong. So, so in the end, I think that research also showed that the gro growth, economic growth, is not necessarily desirable. It's not increasing happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not necessarily reducing inequality. Um, it's also unsustainable from an ecological point of view. We see that when we have economic growth, all the indicators of environmental impacts are getting worse, such as CO2 emission and so on. And we have to put at the center what is important for us. It might be social justice, environmental sustainability, um, the well-being of the people creating employment for the youth, giving opportunities to people. So the, if this is what is important, we put that at the center uh, of our policies and of the political debate, and we go for it. So I think that the growth is powerful because it's able to connect different dots. So it's connecting ecology with justice, it's connecting movements such as, uh, I don't know, climate justice, but also the concern that we have that we need employment. So it's connecting the dots and putting everything together. And this is the power full uh, aspect of this slogan. In the end, it's an activist slogan. If you say to young people, oh, let's go for sustainable development, well, it's not a very motivating slogan, frankly. So I think we need something which can uh, mobilize people, which you can identify it with, which you can see what is your personal experience in <coughs> with your personal life and relate with something with larger um, issues. No, and I think the growth has this ability. But we never discuss what was the objective of development, really. So we have to question this and say, where do we want to go? So where do young people want to go? How do they see their future? in Spain with the movement of the Indignados, the so-called Occupy uh, movement, had the slogan in 2011 and said um, we have no house and we will never have one, we have no job, this means we have no future and that's also mean we have lost the fear. So we should go with them. In the sense we have to lose the fear of losing the little we have to take some risk I take the opportunity to go for something more ambitious and more utopian, I think, and to make it a now-topia. So the growth is a now-topia.